Hi guys, welcome back to CW Creations, I'm Arjun here, and today we are going to see how to create this wonderful loop animation in Blender. Press X and Enter to delete these default objects. Now press Shift plus A and add a torus, and also change the major radius to 5 meters and minor radius to 0.15 meters. Rotate the torus to 90 degrees in X axis. Now press Shift plus A and add a plane, and press S and scale in both X and Y axis. Now select the torus and move 1 meter upwards in Z axis. Now let's add a array modifier to the torus, go to the modifiers tab, and add a array modifier, in relative offset, make the X axis value to 0, and make the Z axis value to minus 30. And also make the count value to 10. Now let's add a material to our plane and torus, go to the materials tab, and select our plane, add a new material, and give a metallic value of 0.75 to 0.80. And now select our torus and create a new material, make it as an emission shader, and give a strength value of 5. Turn on Bloom, Screen Space Reflections and Motion Blur, and in Screen Space Reflections uncheck Half Res Trace and check Refraction, and also turn on Ambient Occlusion. Now it's time to add our new camera, press Shift plus A and add a camera, and make the x-axis rotation of the camera to 90 degrees and y to 0, and also z to 0, and also give the z-axis location to 1.5 meters. Press number pad 0 to go to the camera view. Select the torus. Now go to the modifiers tab and add a subdivision surface modifier to the torus. And also add another array modifier to enhance the length. In relative offset, make the x-axis value to 0, and make the z-axis value to 1.1, and also make the count value to 20. As you see the plane doesn't fit within the line, so let's scale it up in y-axis until it covers the line. Press number pad 0 to go to the camera view, now let's make the environment darker, and for that go to the world icon. And select the color and drag it down to make it darker. Now let's go to the shading tab. Press number pad 0 to go to the camera view. Select the torus. Now press shift plus A and add a color ramp node. And plug it into the color of the emission node. Change linear into B spline. Now it's time to change the color, select two different colors you want, it's totally up to you, I'm choosing these two colors. Now shift plus A and add a object info node, and plug the color to the factor of color ramp. Now let's add a separate XYZ node, and plug the Y axis to the factor of color ramp node. Now add a math node and plug it between the separate XYZ node and color ramp node. Press Shift plus D to duplicate the math node and plug it between them, and change this math node to multiply. When this multiply math node value is 0, the color will be white, and when it is minus 1, the color will be pink, which is the first color of the color ramp node, and when it is 1, the color will be blue which is the second color of the color ramp node. By playing with these values, we are going to do our animation. Now let's get to our layout tab and animate our camera. Select the camera. Go to frame 0 and insert a keyframe in the location of the camera. and also change total frames to 240 frames, so the mathematics we are going to use will be easy to understand. 
Now go to 240th frame and give a Y value of 30 as we gave the array value to minus 30. But as you can see it is not like where it is started. So it will not be a perfect loop and so we have to change its position manually. At the starting point the camera is in the center of the torus, but at the 240th frame it is not, so move the camera in Y axis by pressing Ctrl key so that it snaps to the center line of torus. Now you can see the camera is in the center line of the torus. So now insert a keyframe at the 240th frame. So now it will be a loop animation. And now let's add animation to the torus. Go to the shading tab, select the multiply node and also the torus. With value 1, insert a keyframe at frame 0. And also insert a keyframe at frame 59 with value 1. And now go to frame 60 and change the value to minus 1 and add a keyframe in frame 60 and also in frame 119. Repeat the same process up to 240 frames. Go to 120th frame and change the value to 1, and add a keyframe, and also add a keyframe at frame 179 with value 1. And go to 180th frame, and change the value to minus 1, and add a keyframe, and also add a keyframe at frame 240 with the same value. The animation of the torus is done. Now go to the layout tab and go to rendered view. Now select the camera and go to the camera icon and change the focal length of the camera to 36 millimeters. This gives a wide look for the loop animation. And finally go to the scene settings and go the color management. And that change the look to medium high contrast. Change the animation to 60 fps from 24 fps so that the animation will be faster and smoother. We are going to render this in EV. I usually export my animation in AVI RAW. And select the destination to render. Once you choose your destination, go to render and click render animation. So that's all for today guys. Thanks for watching this video, please leave a like or comment, and don't forget to subscribe CW Creations. This is Arjun signing off.